It's part 11 of our long series on one of my favorite bands growing up, the Little River Band. This is the original guys, the original three guys, B. Bertles, Graham Goebel, and Glenn Shurek. First, we start with Beeb. What was that experience like working with him? Oh, John was great to work with. He's, um, you know, we, we, we got to a point after uh, recording our second album, which, which was not, not released in the States. It was an album called After Hours, mm -hmm. where, uh, you know, things weren't going smoothly within the band itself. And so we felt we needed a mediator. In, uh, between us to to help us get over certain humps and disagreements and stuff like that you know this is where john was just absolutely fantastic and uh, of course he uh, came forward put forward many many great ideas while we were recording as well even though i think the arrangements of the songs still came from within the band we we pretty much knew exactly how we wanted the arrangement of a song to go through asking if you've ever had a religious, spiritual experience. Okay. Well, my answer to that, to that would be, yes, my whole life has been that. I, mean, I knew you I, would say that. And I consider that I'm in constant prayer, which I call communication, even if I'm walking in the bush or talking to you. Prior to me doing this interview, I actually, because I'm living here on my own, I, I said out loud, um guardian angel come with me with this interview because i want to say the right things i don't want to uh, hurt anybody or defame anybody i want the, i want to talk the truth and i th and i said i thank you for this opportunity and i'm going to follow through that, that, and that, so that but i do that with everything whether it be you know looking for finance for the for the musical i yeah. just constantly just check in and i just imagine that i'm sort of living in this world, uh, working my way through life and with my family and my children and my friends. And just, um, I'm sort of in the world, but not fully in the world. That, that's the way I've always been. I like the, the story of the Twilights being at Abbey Road and uh, McCartney recording a certain little song called Penny Lane. Yeah. That is crazy. That was a magic, that was a magic time. We were there for... Uh, one night and uh we were doing three songs and we're, and we're all excited because we checked in and the the guy at the, at the desk said oh well you picked the right night the group are in what what group the beatles the beatles they're in and we just went oh you know and we we were so in awe we uh we didn't make contact but uh, i crept up the corridor and had to listen to the next studio and it was Paul laying down vocals on what was to become the start of the uh, Sergeant Pepper's session for that year, and that was Penny Lane. I still sing that song with that in mind. It was magic. It's lovely. Did you ever tell that story in concert? Because that's such a great story. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You... Uh, that's one of my bragging rights. Yeah. Well... Uh, you know, I've, I've never courted publicity that much. I, uh, I still have to question my motivations. Uh, I don't know, it's just tenacity and also it's uh, just love of singing. I just love to sing and there's so much music out there now that I can sing and I want to sing, so I'll just keep singing. Simple as that. The, the the stories, uh, Glenn, did they come to you when you were writing the book? Was it easy? Did you keep journals? Did you have to look up receipts? How did you come upon writing the book? Well, people kept telling me, you got to write a book. you got to write a book. It's a good story. Uh, my migrant kid, all that sort of stuff, new, new, uh, new home in Australia and uh, then fame and fortune and all that sort of stuff. And then, then problems. Uh, so, yeah, I could see that. The story in it. I was just too lazy to get to sit down and start writing. I tried a couple of times. I went, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll open another bottle. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, I got it. I got it done, John, and uh, I'm very pleased the, with the way it's been received. And I, I just wanted it to entertain, so I put a lot of photographs in there, mainly of me, of course. He said modestly, and um, 
uh, it's it's been well received as this uh, memory uh, trip down memory lane as well with the uh, CD with the songs and uh, I'm happy with that I'm not expecting it to launch me back into the limelight again um, I, I, I'm still in the limelight down here in, in Australia I would dearly love to get back to North America again and sing one more time or sing a few more times but I'm thwarted Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Take care of yourself.